Due to be launched in 2008, the European Space Agency's Planck mission will be helping scientists travel back in time by studying a tenuous radiation believed to be the shock wave of the Big Bang. Measuring this cosmic background radiation will also help astronomers to verify their theories about the overall composition of the universe, including the invisible dark matter and notably the controversial debate of the existence and nature of mysterious dark energy. Everything in the universe near and far emits radiation. Microwave ovens in our kitchens produce it, generating heat in whatever we place in them. In the case of the universe, the radiation is already in the form of heat, the heat radiation just like light from the sun. And at one time the universe was hotter than the sun, but the expansion of the universe has stretched the wavelengths out from being very short wavelengths like visible light down to these long wavelengths like a centimeter wavelength. So the light we're looking at is just like looking at light from the sun. It takes eight minutes to get here from the sun. We're looking at light from the beginning of the universe and it takes 14 billion years to get here. Planck, currently being assembled and tested, will be launched by an Ariane 5 together with another ESA spacecraft, the Herschel Space Observatory. The nearly two-ton satellite will be placed in orbit around L2, a Lagrangian point where a favorable gravitational equilibrium will allow it to rotate together with the Earth around our Sun. In this faraway location, Planck will be less perturbed by the thermal radiation from the Earth and the Moon. One of the prime considerations has been to build a satellite with detectors that are sensitive enough to register the very weak cosmic radiation. La première difficulté the first challenge has been to cool the detectors of the science instruments enough to allow them to detect this tenuous light coming from the first ages of the Big Bang. And to do that, we have had to chill them to minus 273 degrees centigrade. And just a comparison, the temperature differences that we will be measuring are as small as those between two people situated a thousand kilometers apart. Planck will spin, allowing its ear-like telescope to scan the whole sky. The microwaves will be focused on small collectors or feed horns, which will channel the light to the heart of the instruments. There is one kind of instrument that works pretty much like a transistor radio. So it catches, it uses an antenna and it catches the waves, and then it translates that to a voltage which co corresponds to the signal on the sky. The other type uh, works a little differently. It's essentially a very sensitive thermometer. So it catches the waves. The thermometer increases, uh, shows a, a change in the temperature of, of the absorber that has taken the waves. And we measure that to interpret that as a signal from the sky. Earlier satellites studying cosmic background radiation discovered small variations in temperature, showing that the infant universe was, as expected, not perfectly smooth. But there is also evidence of strange components in its composition. Today, cosmologists can only understand what we see in the expanding universe by postulating the presence of dark matter and dark energy for 95% of its composition, but which to date have never been detected. Measuring this background radiation with unprecedented resolution, Planck will bring light on this hot topic of cosmology. It, it all fits together, but why, right? And the simplest version, that is, equal amount of energy in every volume of space, right, which would be equivalent to Einstein's cosmological constant, that fits all the data we have. You know, what's going on there? That's the question. So we have these things that we know have to be there because we see two or three different lines of evidence arguing, but we don't know what they really are. We just know they're there, and we have a simple law saying how they should behave and put that into our models, and it works. And so the Planck mission, due to last 15 months, will test cosmology on some key questions. What is the nature of dark matter and dark energy? Is dark energy indeed a driving force behind the expansion? And what could be the future fate of our universe? It will be a journey back in time and into the future.